Folks, showers a little tougher to find in the valley today than the past few days. If you watch radar and satellite together all day long, it started quiet, then a couple of brief showers went through Willacy and Cameron County this morning, and those have since moved out. You saw them this morning, and that's about it. I don't think we're going to see anything else tonight, and we're probably not going to see much tomorrow. Maybe a brief isolated shower, but not much more than that. Here's future track starting at midnight tonight. Just shows patchy clouds overnight and then during the daytime tomorrow, partly to mostly sunny and mainly dry. Can a brief shower be ruled out, especially near the coast? No, not completely, but the chances are probably less than 10%, maybe even less than 5%. Go forward into Saturday. Let's get this weekend started. It looks like it'll be partly to mostly sunny and hot with temperatures again up into the 90s and you go on into Sunday, same kind of thing. It shows a little moisture around, but nothing significant. So it's a mostly sunny and hot day once again. And that really holds not just a Sunday, but into Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, probably Thursday as well. We're going mainly dry tomorrow, implying that one or two isolated showers near the coast. Other than that, we're dry everywhere through the weekend. Here's where temperatures are right now. We're still holding in the low to mid 80s, 85 in Rio Grande City. Same thing at Edinburgh and McCann, a little warmer at 86, 82 right now, both Brownsville and in Harlingen. And dew points are up. Look at these numbers, mid to upper 70s, 79 dew point Raymondville and Harlingen, 78 for Isabel and Brownsville. We'll put the average on the muggy meter of about 77. And again, once you hit 80, that's about as high as it ever gets around here. So it's about as humid tonight as what you'll ever feel. And it's not going to change much. Even now, this time of night with the humidity, feels like it's in the 90s valley wide because the dew points are so high. Actual temperatures the next three days, the normal is 95. We're going to go 97, 98, 97. So the records won't be threatened, but we will be above the seasonal average. Now this is what the rest of Texas looks like as far as future track goes. It does bring a front into the state as we head toward the weekend, but it stays way north. Triggers spotty showers, but if you've got weekend plans in San Antonio, Austin, Houston, we don't see any big problems. Instead, we just see a lot of heat from here all the way up to Dallas with very little change anytime soon. If you're headed to the beach, getting your weekend started early tomorrow, the day starts at about 88 degrees. Southerly winds, but notice temperature really doesn't go much of anywhere all day. Hold steady in the upper 80s. Winds out of the southeast, 15 to 20 most of the day. Surf temperature still bath water at 85 in the bay. Same thing. The bay is choppy. Seas running three to five feet. So tonight, our average low will be about 79. Clear to partly cloudy and very humid. Then tomorrow, back up to 97, mainly sunny and mainly dry. Again, that isolated shower can't be completely ruled out. Here we go, upper 90s all the way through the forecast period, including the 4th of July, and the chance of rain is minimal, maybe 5% tomorrow, and then again, 5% about Thursday of next week. Until then, sunshine and heat. That is your updated First 1-5 forecast.